thanks for tuning into this video. I appreciate it so much. Please watch these videos. Please let me know what videos you want next. So today, continuing with geometry, uh, a prerequisite that I'd ask you to watch is watch the, the videos on volume and on area, okay? So volume, we're going to be talking about cubed, right? So feet cubed or inches cubed, centimeters cubed. Area, you're talking about squared. And we're going to look at illustrations to, to kind of demonstrate these concepts. So cubed versus squared, what does that mean? And notice, I, in the other videos I wrote these, you know, foot cubed or foot squared, we're going to get, on to it, get into it. So volume, as a, a refresher, volume is the amount of space that an object occupies or holds. So it's three-dimensional. You know, if you have a cube, how many, if you have a big, big, like a rectangular prism, a big tub, how many blocks can you put in it? How many blocks make up, fill up that tub? Okay, it, it's a three-dimensional object. All right. Length times width times height. This is huge. This is paramount for volume. You have to know that formula. You need three dimensions. All right. So three dimensions for volume. And then area is the size of a surface, right? The area of a space that a, that a, that a surface covers. So instead of three dimensions, it's two dimensional. You only need length and width. So instead of looking at a cube with area, you're looking at maybe overhead. You're looking at a flat piece of paper. It's only got two dimensions. It's, it, there's no depth to it. There's no height. All right, so four centimeters times eight centimeters. Area is length times width. Okay, so volume, you get the extra height. You get the third dimension. But with area, it's only two dimensions. So, side by side, area, I keep telling you, area is two dimensions. Okay, this is a 10 by 10 grid. 10 by 10. So what's 10 times 10? It's a 100. 100. Okay, and let's say this is 10 feet, and this is 10 feet. So this is 100 feet, but it's squared. So it's 100 feet squared. 100 foot squared. Volume is three dimensions. Instead of just seeing what's on top or, you know, in the directly in front, you see three dimensions. One, two, three. Notice we can see three different dimensions on that huge cube. And instead of being 10 times 10, what's it going to be? So 10 times 10, okay, and then look at this line. This is our depth times 10, right? Or, you know, right here. It's the same thing. So instead of... 10 times 10, which is 100, you have 10 times 10 times 10, 1,000. 1,000 feet, and it's 3D, it's three dimensions, so you put a three cubed, 1,000 foot cubed. That is a big, that's a big block. It's a big block. All right. Area is two dimensions, and volume is three dimensions. So, notice this. We got this, we, we, we have this cube, this rectangular prism, this three-dimensional figure. Eight meters wide, eight meters deep, and then five meters tall. This is eight by eight. We, this could be like the top view. If you're looking from on top and you just see, oh, that's eight by eight grid. Oh, this is the area that the object covers, and this is the volume that it, is, it can hold, or the capacity. All right, so. 8 times 8, right, is 64. 64 uh, meters, we're dealing with meters here, 64 meters squared. 8 times 8, uh, <laughs> sorry, I confused myself. Look, we're dealing 8 times 8 times 5. 64 times 5, what is that? 64 times 5 is 20. 32, 320 meters cubed. That's our answer. This is our volume compared to our area. Two dimensions for area, three dimensions for volume. Right. Notice, very simple. How did I get, I started with this cube, right? Took that picture from the internet. Here it is. Three, one, two, three times three, that's nine. That's easy to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, right? That's nine blocks. Here it is, okay, nine blocks. Look, and it's too deep, it's too deep. One, two deep, so we can double it. It's 18 cubic inch, uh, 18 cubes, right? Let's just say centimeters cubed. Three is our dimensions. Well, let's, let's multiply it out. So instead of just counting blocks, we can, we can multiply it. Three times three, and then this back, here's how deep it is, times two. Three times three is nine, times two is 18. Got it. But look, six cubes, three wide and two deep. Three wide and two deep. The area is six centimeters squared. That is our area. Because the difference between area and volume is two dimension versus three dimension. Cubed versus squared. Area is squared, volume is cubed. That's the difference. It's just how many dimensions are you dealing with? All right, and then our last, our last um, example for this video. Uh, it's the exact same, um, you know, if we look, five blocks wide, like it says five, right here, five wide, and then four blocks deep, right? So five times four, 20, five times four, you're going to have 20 squares here, you have 20 squares here. If you want to pause your video, great, pause your video, you can count them all. It's going to be the same. This is our area squared. Area equals, uh, you know, uh, we'll just say feet, or we'll just say squared. Area equals squared, okay? And then volume equals cubed. All right. So you can see right here, cube that extra dimension. 20 squares, three levels. One, two, three levels. Thanks for watching these videos. Please let me know if you have any questions, if you want me to make any, any additional videos and follow-ups, whatever you need, I'm here to help you. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time.